Hello, everyone. So this is another math counts problem. So this was a national uh, spin uh, question number 25. So we have a question that says, how many times in a 24 hour day will the hour and minute length ends of those 12 hour analog clock forms a 90 degree angle, okay? So we are given a sample of those, but just to kind of uh, feel how that looks like, I'm gonna actually clear this guy. So let me actually take this guy. Okay, so, you know, before we get into the problem itself, let's actually understand what's going on. So we are looking for a angle measure that will give us a 90 degrees in between our hand and minute hand, okay? But you know, you can start with um, like 12. So because at 12, if I say this is my hour hand, and if I wanna do the minute hand as well, so, so the angle in between these two right now is zero degrees. So that is on the same point, but let's actually write some thing with those. So let's say this is like our hand, okay? And then minute hand. So, when you move this uh, minute hand 360 degrees, which is will which will take uh, like uh, 60 minutes. Okay, so 60 minutes is gonna rotate this uh, fully, which is gonna be 360 degrees, right? Okay, so just keep this in mind. And then whenever you move this um, like 60 minutes for the minute hand, our hand will move only from 12 to one, which is gonna be one twelfth of that 360. So in 60 minutes, it will just rotate one twelfth of 360, which is just uh, 30 degrees, okay? So, you know, finding the 60 minutes is good, but it's better for us to get actually one minute. So if you rotate, 30 degrees uh, in 60 minutes. So in one minute, okay, so the R hand will actually rotate one half degrees. So that's something we have. And when you move this uh, minute hand like 60 minutes, so you will actually rotate 360 degree. But if you just do one minute, okay, so that is gonna be six degrees or like, you know, this is one half, this is six, which is 12 times as much. So that is good. So here's what we are gonna do. Like, you know, we are gonna try to see when this is gonna actually first time, the angle in between the hour hand and minute hand will be 90 degrees. We, we, we already know, you know, the minute hand will be faster. So when this guy start moving this way, maybe passing three a bit, since every hour, like, portion like from 12 to one, one to two, like every section basically 30 degrees when you move this guy. So until you get this three, so that will be 90 degrees, but at the same time, the hour hand is also moving a bit. So which is why it's gonna be a bit lesser than 90. So our minute hand should be passing three a bit more, right? So which is something approximately a guess. So whenever we do some work, so if you get something way different, so you can question what you did, okay? So let's move on. So let's say this is gonna happen the first time after X minute, okay? Let's say after X minute, okay? They will have 90 degrees uh, angle in between, okay? Between, okay, so anyway, so you got my point. Okay, so, you know, in one minute, the hour hand was moving one half degrees. So in X minutes, so that will be X times one half degrees. And this guy will be moving six degrees in one minute. In X minutes, that will move actually six times X degrees. But since we are gonna see it, this guy will be moving more. So which is why if you add 90 degrees to this uh, hour hand, that has to be same as the minute hand. So if you saw this equation, you know, this is gonna be, like six X, okay, minus X half equals 90. So that's 11 X equals 180. The X will be 180 over 11. So if you divide 180 by 11, so that's 
one times, which is 11. So that's going to be 70, which is going to be six times. Seven, six is like 77, actually. Yeah, 66. And you do get actually four leftovers. So 16 and for 11 minutes later, the angle measuring between our hand and middle hand will be actually 90 degrees in the, the first time. Okay, so this is after 16 plus some minute. Okay, 16 and for 11, which is not really usual time, but that's okay. But you know, we can just kind of visualize how that looks like. So let me clean this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take these. So, you know, just to see how that looks like, I'm gonna draw that. So right now it's 12, 16. So the R hand is gonna be something really close to 12 still. And the minute hand should be passing three a bit more, right? So something like this. So this is the first time the angle measuring between is 90 degrees. So what we wanna do, you know, this is the first time after 16 and for 11 minutes, but when you move this guy like more, and at some point when you just actually move this on the other direction, which is 180 degrees more than this guy, and even though, you know, when you move this one, so it will be moving a bit as well. So after 180 degrees more than this guy, um, the X, I mean, this guy, so you will actually get another 90 degrees. So what I'm trying to say is basically, you know, we said X times one half plus 90 should be equal to six X, which, and then we end up getting 60 minutes later, that will be happening. But if you add another 180 to this guy, so you will actually get another, like 90 degrees in between those. So I hope that makes sense. So let me write that. So the X over two plus 270, which is, I just add another 180 because it will give us um, like another gain of like 180 degrees when you achieve by min minute hand. So the angle in between R and minute hand will be still 90 degrees, okay? So in the other direction. I hope that uh, really clear. So that is equal to this guy, right? So if you do this now, so that will be 11x over two equals to 70, and that will be x equals 540 over 11. And if you divide this, so you will get 444, so that will be 100, so that looks like 99, right? So let me double check. Yeah, actually that's 99, and then you get one left over, so that's gonna be 49 and 111. So which means, after the first time that they have 90 degrees in between those hour and minute hand, so after 49 minutes later, the angle in between those two will be still uh, 90 degrees. So that is the, the second time. So, but we are told we have 24 hour period. Okay, so just keep this in mind. And then, and then when we look at these two guys, we just got only like two times that works, but how long did it like happen so far? Even like in a just, 49 minutes or so, right? So, but we are looking for 24 hour period. So, which is 24 times 60 minutes. So, and if you look at the, the difference between these two guys, let's, let's do that. Maybe I can use for 540 over 11 minus 180 over 11. So, which will be 360 over 11. What is that tell us? This guy tell us every like, every 360 over 11 minutes, they will have a 90 degrees in between those two hour hand and minute hand. So what we wanna know is how many times that will happen in 24 hour period. So to do so, to find that like number, so we just need to divide 24 times 60, which is gonna be 24 times 60 minutes. And I need to divide this by this difference because that is gonna be repeating um, to get another night in between those two. So 360 over 11. So I guess that will give us the answer. So 24 times 60 times 11 over 360. So these are really nice, that's six. So these are gonna be four and that will be 44 times. So which is really nice because we get a whole number. And if you did have some sort of uh, decimals, you should be careful with what number to round it, but I guess in this case, we don't have the concern to be honest, okay? 
So I hope that makes sense. We do get 44 times 90 degrees in between our hand and minute hand in 24 hour period, okay? So I'll see you in the next video.